Stephanie Mullen here to quickly show you how to use the motion graphics from the Rampant Filmmaker Toolbox in Adobe Premiere. Now before I start, let me say really quick that all Rampant Filmmaker Toolbox effects are ProRes and can be read by both Mac and PCs. If you are working on a PC, check out the description below for a link to download the free ProRes codec. The installation is simple and you will be up and running in no time. Alright, let's jump into Premiere. Now as you can see here, I have a blank timeline. We're actually going to build this one because it's motion graphics. So how I'm going to do that first, I want to import my motion graphics to my Premiere uh, project window over here, which is very simple. So I'm just going to right click, I'm going to say import, and now you need to go find where your, you know, wherever your filmmaker or toolbox lives. So you're going to go there. I'm going to click on my motion graphics folder and I'm going to say import. And the first thing you're going to see here is you're going to see a failure of a file that doesn't import. This is your PDF, and the PDF is going to be really helpful in uh, letting you find elements and effects really, really fast. So check it out. You can see it. It's a kind of a quick snapshot of everything that's in your folder. We're going to say OK. All right, so now we have all of our motion graphics here. Nice. Now let's start building our edit. So I'm going to start with an, a background, and I'm going to use a background from the background pack in the toolbox. And I'm going to drag that to my timeline. And I'm going to drag it down on video layer one. And you can see this is from the subtle backgrounds pack. It's from subtle volume five. It's got some nice like pixie dust going on there. And I've already created a title here in uh, actually in uh, Premiere, which is really nice. So it's already done. So I'm going to drag that to uh, my timeline as well. I'm going to cinch all of this up so it sort of matches. There we go. So there, we have a nice title with a nice background. It looks great. But what if we wanted to add some of our motion graphics elements? No, not a problem. All we're going to do is we're going to go over here, let's add a box, and let's just check out and see what our boxes look like. That's good, that's nice, actually let's add that one. And it's a lot smaller than our, our text, but that's okay. So here's our, our, our uh, motion graphic on our background with our title, and we're going to work with just the motion graphics right now, so I'm going to go click on my effect here, I'm going to go up here to the effect controls and make sure it's selected again. And I'm going to be working with the motion first and I want to show you the scale. So you can scale here like, like this where it's uniform but I can also do it here and I can say I want the height to be a little bigger and I want the width to be a little smaller and if we actually scale this through we can see exactly where it's going to show up. Now I want to work with the position so I want to just Let's see, I want to move it up so it's sort of centered between my title. And let's make sure that's scroll that. There, perfect. Easy, simple motion graphic that I just added to my title. So easy, so, so nice. So um, what if we want, we have that, we change the height, the width, the position. Now what if we wanted to change the color? That's also really simple. So all you need to do is come over to your effect panel right here. You're going to go over to video effects. You're going to scroll down to color correction. We're going to twirl that down. You're going to go down to tint right here. You're going to drag that tint to your motion graphic clip. And you're going to see up here in your effect control panel right here that the tint is here. And you're going to map your white, which is because it's a white uh, effect. And you're going to, you can change this to whatever you want. Say maybe we wanted a yellow. Like that. And it changes. Simple. And now we have a yellow motion graphic. So easy, all right? Perfect, so very simple. You import it, drag it to your timeline. You can then work with the position, the height, the width. You can scale it uniformly. You can do whatever you want. You can rotate it. You can do whatever you want. So let's do another example really fast. Let's go back here. We're gonna copy these again and make the same thing. So here's our title with our background. And maybe this time I wanna add some arrows. So let's look at that. So let's do, oh, let's see. That's a nice arrow. I like that one. So let's go ahead and add that, drag that to our timeline. And here's our whole thing. So since this is a little bit extended, we're just gonna extend our title and our background out. Now, again, we're gonna work with the sizing, the scaling, and the rotation of our arrow. So I'm gonna click on the arrow. I'm gonna go up here to my effect controls. And then I'm gonna twirl down the motion. And you'll see here's the position and the scale. So let's work with the scale first. We're going to do this one uniformly. So we're going to keep that box right here checked. And we scale it down. And now let's reposition it. Maybe scale it down a little more. And I want it to be up here on top, sort of pointing at our 
our title. So I'm going to rotate it like that and maybe scale it down a little bit. Okay, perfect. Let's take a look at what that looks like. Now we have a motion graphic element that's pointing to our title, which looks great. Now maybe I wanted to duplicate this. So all I need to do is hold down Option key, so like hold up on the, and use my mouse and pull up on the clip so it's going to duplicate. Now I can go to this clip and I can also reposition it. And I can rotate it. Now what if I wanted this to be flipped around? I want it to be sort of mirrored on the horizontal axis. I can do that by going over here to my effect panel and I'm going to go down to transform. This is also in the video effects folder. Go down to transform and I want to do horizontal flip. Drag that here and it flips and then I can rotate it some more and I can then reposition it just like that. Now we have two arrows pointing at our title, which is great. So let's go ahead and uh, do this two more times. Let's duplicate this layer. And let's move it around. And I believe this one has to go over here because it's flipped. Yep, just like that. Move it down. Move it over. And then let's do it one more time. We want to actually do the first clip that we, this one right here, this arrow. So let's duplicate that. Pull it up to the top and then reposition all the way down and then rotate it. And you can, of course, you would do this a little more precisely. I'm sort of doing it fast for the tutorial, but uh, you can do measurements and put it in the exact position if you, whatever you'd like to do. But that looks pretty good for me. I'm going to take it. Looks good. Just like that. Now let's roll this through. And we've got four arrows pointing at our title. That's pretty cool. So easy, so simple. And again, if you want to change the color, you could do the same thing. You can take your, go up to your color correction, take your tint, drag it to your first clip. Remember, you're changing the white because these are white. Change the white to, I don't know, let's change it to pink. Let's get crazy. There it is, pink. All right. And if you wanted to do that effect, if you wanted to copy that effect throughout all of your arrows, all you have to do is right click with your mouse. Oh, actually, you have to copy that clip. So Command C, and then right click on the next clip. Say Paste Attributes, and we only want to paste the effect for the tint. We don't want to do the motion or the opacity or anything else. So we say OK, and there it goes. Click on the next one. I there we go. Paste Attributes. Say OK, and then the last one. Say OK, and now we've got pink arrows. Perfect. And again, you can do this again with, say you wanted to use a color, like if you didn't want to use a background, you could actually just use a color background. So we're going to put a color mat down here and then put our title back on top, which is nice. There it is. And again, you can put, let's look at some more of these motion graphics. Let's look at a black one that you can do. So we have some black uh, vignettes in here. So there we go, and you'll see that. So it adds a nice vignette to it. If you want to, again, if you want to change the color of the black, you're going to still use the tint from your effect, effects panel. And instead of doing the white, you're going to actually map the black. So let's say we want it to be green. There you go. That is really ugly. So maybe not green. Maybe back to black. All right, so you can change it whatever color you want. Pretty easy, pretty simple. So if we roll that back all the way to the beginning, you'll see all we had to do was import our motion graphics folder. We drag it to our timeline. We All we then mess with is then the uh, in the effects control, you do the motion, you can do uh, scale, rotation, size, and all that stuff. And then you can change the color by adding a tint. So easy, simple, done. And that's that. If you're interested in any more Rampant Filmmaker Toolbox tutorials, check out the link below. And if you have any questions, leave a comment and we'll be happy to help. Again, thanks for watching. Bye!